Well, I know a lot of women who complain that their boyfriends or husbands have a love that is not them. Can you imagine that? Because their husbands or boyfriends claim that their first love is their car. Can you believe that? Yes, it's true. So, well, if you love your car that much that you claim that your car is your first love, then you've come to the right place because I have for you some English phrases for car owners. Welcome once again to this lesson. My name is Rina, and yes, I have for you phrases which car owners should know and should use. So a car owner is definitely very possessive and very attached to his or her car. So I have for you certain phrases that you must know if you own an automobile or a car. The first one on my list is car payments. Now car payments actually mean monthly payments that you need to pay towards your car. Now imagine that while buying your car, you've taken a car loan from the bank. Now that means that every month you will have to pay out a car payment to the bank until your loan has been paid off. That's right. So car payments mean monthly payments to the bank. If you love your car, make sure that you actually give out your car payments on time because otherwise you could actually default in them and the bank could take away your beloved car. I'm sure you don't want that to happen, right? Moving on. I have for you car insurance. Now car insurance needs to be bought from the, from the car insurance company so that in case of emergency or in case of an accident or any damage to the car, you actually get the insurance company to pay you to cover all the costs of the damage. So car insurance is definitely a wise thing to do and you must make sure that you've bought car insurance from the insurance company. So car insurance means insurance or an insurance policy for the car. Now the next one, now trust me, if you have an expensive car or a very high-end car, this is going to burn a hole in your pocket. So automotive taxes, now these are taxes that you need to pay on buying your car. So basically, taxes to be paid while buying or purchasing your car. So most of these, like all three of these almost, are financial terms related to cars that car owners must absolutely be aware of. Moving on, I have for you parking garage, a commonly used term. And if you're a car owner, you know exactly how important it is to have a proper, safe, designated parking garage for your beloved car. And a lot of people actually spend a lot of money trying to secure a proper parking space for their car. So a parking garage is a covered or uncovered space to park your car. So that's all about parking garage and moving on, there are certain terms that a car owner must know when he or she takes their car to the gas station. That's right. Now let me tell you what gas in this context means. It does not mean all the, all the gases that you're probably aware of, you know, the ones that compose the air, like let's say oxygen or nitrogen or carbon dioxide. It actually means gasoline. That's right. So gas is the short form for gasoline. 
Now gasoline is actually car fuel, the fuel on which your car runs. So if you take your car to the gas station, there are certain terms and phrases that you need to be aware of. The first one being to pump the gas, which means to pump the gasoline or to fill fuel in the car. So when you reach the gas station, you could actually request the attendant to pump the gas, which means to fill fuel in your car. Now this is very important because without this, I don't see your car going anywhere. So that's all about pumping the gas or filling the fuel in your car. Moving on, grade of gas or gasoline, which means type of fuel for your car. Now different cars run on different types of fuels and there are different types of fuels available at the gas station. You know, some fuels are classified in the category of being regular. The others are classified in the category of being super or advanced, you know. So you can actually make a decision as to which kind of fuel you want for your car. And beware that the cost varies from fuel to fuel. So once you've made your decision on the grade of gas or type of fuel, then all you need to do is request the attendant to pump the gas. Moving on, gas tank. Okay, so a gas tank is basically the tank in your car which holds the gasoline or the fuel on which your car runs. So you could also request the attendant at the gas station by saying, can you fill the gas tank to its capacity? Which means, can you fill the gas tank completely so that you don't have to worry about fuel for a few days? So gas tank is the place in your car or the tank in your car which holds the fuel. Now these are the phrases which will be very useful if you're visiting a gas station along with your car, obviously. And moving on, I have for you certain phrases or terms which you need to be aware of if you own a car and you wish to maintain your car in the best of its condition. Okay, so uh, these terms will be handy and will be useful when you actually take your car to the service station for a regular servicing. The first one that I have on my list is oil change. Now there are a lot of oils and fluids, you know, which are required to keep your car running in good condition. They could be the brake oil, the engine oil. And what you need to do is you need to regularly get these oils changed so that your car keeps running in the best condition. So oil change is the process of changing oils or fluids in your car. Now this is a necessary process that you really need to undergo, you know, each time you take your car for servicing. Moving on, air pressure. Now when we say air pressure with respect to cars, it has nothing to do with the pressure of the air that you are breathing. It refers to the pressure of the tyres of the car. So the pressure in each tyre of the car needs to be checked regularly and maintained at a particular number. This will help the car run to the best of its capacity. So air pressure refers to the pressure in the car tires. Now the next term which will have you running to a car garage or a servicing station is getting a flat. Now that means one of the tires of your car has actually become flattened or has been punctured and it needs to be changed. So getting a flat means getting a puncture 
in a tire. So obviously when something like that happens, you're driving and your car tire gets punctured, the next thing that you need to have ready and available is a spare. So moving on, having a spare means having a spare tire to change in case of a puncture. So well, these two are very, very simple, getting a flat and having a spare. Then moving on, something that people dread doing if they love their car, body work. Now imagine if the outer body of your car has been damaged because of an accident or some sort of, you know, impact, then you need to get some body work as in repair work done to your car. So body work stands for repairing the outer body of the car. Now the next one is very very related to body work. It's a dent. Now a dent means an indention or an impact or a place on the body of your car where the metal has been impacted or damaged. Now this could happen because of you know two cars colliding with each other, an accident or an object falling on your car. So a dent is basically damage to the metal of the outer body of the car. And yes, when you take your car for body work, definitely dents are going to be repaired and taken care of. So dents mean damage to the body of the car. Moving on. Sometimes all of us get unlucky with our cars and in the middle of a journey, the car just stops. Now when something like that happens to your beloved car, remember, you need to remember the number of the towing vehicle. That's right, you can call the towing station, request for a vehicle that can come and tow your car to the garage. So towing actually means pulling or dragging your car to the service station or to the garage. So well these were all the phrases in English that you can use as a car owner you know phrases that you need to know be aware of and keep handy. So I'm sure if you really love your car you're gonna practice these and perfect these. I really hope you enjoyed the lesson and if you want access to many many more interesting lessons like this, all you need to do is subscribe to our channel. I'm going to be back very very soon, so till then take care and enjoy yourself.